Hi, Chris Jarvis with the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish, and today we are talking about bugs. So we are here on the Pecos River in northern New Mexico, and we came out here to do a little bit of fly fishing today. And the first thing I always do when I go fly fishing is to try and figure out what flies I need to tie on. And in order to do that, I have to know what insects are available for these trout to eat. So when I got here, I looked around. I just spent a few minutes just looking around. I shook some bushes. I was looking for insects that were flying around. I see a little tiny uh, yellow stone right here, a small one. I could imitate that with a little uh, yellow stone fly. So I look around, see what's flying. Here's why that's important. If you see stuff flying around, that tells you that it is hatched fairly recently and that it is available for the trout to eat. If you can key in on stuff that's recently hatched, you have a little bit of an idea of, of what you should be tying on as a fly. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, because I haven't seen a lot of flies out in the air flying around, a lot of insects, is I'm gonna get in the water and I'm gonna turn over some rocks. Now all of these dry flies flying around, if they are aquatic insects, they have an underwater form, they have a nymph form. So I'm hopeful today that if I turn over a few rocks, I'm gonna see what is underneath, what nymphs are there. Here's the three that I'm hoping I find. I hope I find a stonefly. Stoneflies are really cool. Trout love to eat them. I hope I find some caddisflies. Caddisflies are another important insect for trout. And I hope I find mayflies. Mayflies are one of my favorites. They're really graceful when they're out and about, when they're flying around. If you are on a river and you find those three things, those three bugs, that's a really good indicator that your river is a healthy river. In fact, scientists use those three insects to determine if a river's healthy. If you find a stonefly, a caddisfly, and a mayfly all alive and well in a river, that gives you a, an indicator that that river's doing well. The next thing they do is they look to see how many there are. If there are a whole bunch of them, then the river's really healthy. If you're only finding a few, then it might be a water quality issue that you need to start looking at. So hopefully today we find a bunch and that tells us that the Pecos is alive and well and it's a healthy river. Come join me as I take a look under some rocks and we're gonna see if we can find some flies. Mayfly, stonefly, caddisfly. That's what I'm hoping to find. All right, so let's turn over a couple rocks and see what we find. Uh, the first thing I like to do is get downstream of the rocks so that when I pick it up, things don't float away. A lot of little mayflies. Boy, those are fast movers there. I see one mayfly here. They're pretty small, the mayflies, pretty tiny. All right, let's look under this guy. Oh, there's a nice mayfly there. So that's just a little tiny mayfly. On this rock, we found a golden stone. So well, that's kind of cool. Mostly little caddis larva. Can you name the three types of insects that were found today? These are indicators that this river is a healthy river.